Greetings and blessings with praises from the Most High. Ja, I just want to say that I'm thankful for being here. All my subscribers that are new, subscribe link to my pages that are seeing all my videos. I will continue to do this as long as you guys are willing to listen. And I'm happy to share all the information I have with you. I got more information besides this. But the reason why I'm coming out here real quick and giving you this update about this new James Bond that's coming out is because Jay the Black recently just talked about it. And I also want to add my thoughts to it. Now, my computer's acting up very badly lately. It's on crack. I don't know what's going on with it. It's very, very slow. I got an old computer, which is a little over five years. So it's like very, 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 very slow. So... I decided that I'm going to use this and use it with my smartphone to kind of read this article that's coming from the Daily Mail of the UK, which is where I'm from. Now, I'm going to start by saying that this person that's playing James Bond, let's see what her name is here because I just had her name. It's Lashana Lynch. That's Korea. I just want to make sure I had it right. She's from the United Kingdom, just like I am. I am originally from the United Kingdom, and I had the, the exact same accent that she had when I first came here to the United States. Every now and then I can speak that way, but I prefer to speak in a Jamaican accent or American accent because I'm not very too fond of my old British accent. And don't ask me why, but if you want to know me why, just ask me in person I'll explain it to you. It's just not my, it's not my favorite accent at all. But what I want to say to you guys is this, is that I wouldn't have no doubt in my mind that this lady is of Caribbean descent. And I'll explain to you that because I am of Caribbean descent, a lot of us from the Caribbean came to the UK and guys like Winston Churchill did not like us. He said that England was be, going to become a magpie for society because of so many people who are from the Caribbean coming over to England. But little does he know, a lot of us in England that are born there and become citizens are Indians, Asians, just like the guy, my fellow YouTuber, who I used to speak with um, frequently. His name is History Behind the Warrior. He's Asian, and he speaks with a very strong British accent because he grew up there, and that's where he's from. Go ahead and call, check out. Also, check his video out. If you want to see the updates, but let me get to the point now. Here, this is coming from the Daily Mail of dot com, and I got this information from Jay the Black, who talked about it earlier, and I wanted to add my thoughts about it. All right, it says the Black Woman, who will be the next 007 new James Bond film, will feature British actress Lashana Lynch taking over the famous code name, but that doesn't stop the legendary agent trying to seduce her. Wow, the story is written by Cal Caroline Graham. For the mail on Sunday in Los Angeles. So that was on the 13th, which, which is around kind of like today. So it says on the 13th, but today's the 14th. But in a popcorn dropping moment, the actress is handed Bond's number. Bond girls have been renamed as Bond women in the new movie. The new Bond movie pays tribute to the past 007 films. Since Daniel Craig announced he was standing down as James Bond, debate has raged whether the next 007 should be a woman or black. A while back, I'm, um, I explained this about Idris Elba, and I'm going to show you what I said about it in a minute. Now the mail on Sunday can reveal that she will be both thanks to the intervention of feminist TV writer Phoebe Waller-Bridge. In what's been called a popcorn dropping moment, British star Lashana Lynch will be given Bond's license to kill in the 25th movie in the franchise, currently being shot in Italy and the UK. And it goes on to stay here. This. However, traditionalists can relax. She's not the new Bond, but a new character who takes over his secret agent's number after he leaves MI6. The story begins with Bond retired in Jamaica, but Spymaster M, played by Ralph Fiennes, calls him back in desperation to tackle a global crisis. The movie ins a movie insider said there is a pivotal scene at the start of the film where M says, in coming in 007 and walks in, Lashana was black, beautiful, and a woman. It's a popcorn dropping moment. Bond is still Bond, but he's been replaced as 007 by this stunning woman. Bond, of course, is sexually attracted to the new 007, new female 007 and tries his usual Dutch and tricks, but is baffled when they don't work on a brilliant young black woman who basically rolls her eyes at him and has no interest in jumping into his bed. Well, certainly not at the beginning. A new source that the phrase Bond Girls is now forbidden, saying we were all told that from now on we are to be addressed as Bond women. 
Laura Bridge, who wrote the BBC, BBC comedy Fleabag and the female-led thriller Killing Eve, was recruited to ensure the 57-year-old franchise moved with the times. She said there has been a lot of talk about whether or not Bond is relevant now because of who he is and the way he treats women. I think that B's, B-I-T-C-A-G-S to be precise, I think he's absolutely relevant now. The franchise has just got to grow. It just has to evolve. And the important thing is that the film treats the woman properly. Properly, excuse me. He doesn't have to. He needs to be true to his character. Miss Lynch 31 has had a breakthrough role as a fighter pilot, Maria Rambeau, as Captain Marvel released earlier this year. Filmmakers create Avatar Daniel Craig's face for dangerous stunts. Wow, so they're going to be doing a lot of things in this movie. Daniel Craig's desire to do all his own stunts on the new Bond film has been thwarted by injury. But now producers have come up with a high-tech solution worthy of the cue to make it look as if he's sticking the action. Special effects wizards have created a computer avatar of the 51-year-old star, which will enable his face to be digitally superimposed on the body of his stunt double, Frenchman Jean-Charles Rousseau. 31. Craig is, was forced to change his stunt plans after an injury ankle of filming a chase scene in Jamaica in May. In his 13 years as, a, as Bond, he has also smashed two teeth, dislocated a shoulder, sprained a knee, and sliced the tip off of one of his fingers. A source said Daniel is in great shape, but there are some scenes he can't do because they're too physically challenging. Plus, the insurance company won't let him, so his face will be superimposed later. Now, this is going on to the, the Bond woman here. This is telling you a little bit more of her background, because she did star in Captain Marvel. Originally from Hammersmith, West London, as everybody, everybody from England is from London. You know, I'm just tired of hearing that. She's made her debut in the 2011 drama Fast Girls, has appeared in Silent Witness and Death in Paradise, and was a regular class member in the short-lived 2015 BBC show Crims. She also played Rosalind Capulet in the American period drama series Still Starcross, set after the deaths of Romeo and Juliet. The source said Lashana is absolutely brilliant and Phoebe's script is as sharp as funny as you would expect. This bond pays tribute to some of earlier films with a lot of humor. Indeed, one photograph Photograph taken on set of show Miss Lynn in Safari suit, similar to the one Roger Moore famously wore when he played 007. This is a bond from the modern era who will appeal to a younger generation while sticking to us true to what we all expect in the Bond film, the source added. There are spectacular chase sequences and fights, and Bond is still Bond. He's having to learn to, how to deal with the world of Me Too. So hopefully the script will be the least of the problems for a film that has already been hit by the replacement of original director Danny Boyle injury to Craig and a crew member getting hurt in an explosion on the set. So that's all I'm going to go ahead and read onto the story. But here's the point. The reason why you have this bond that is a British descent in black. This is what people don't know that, that I know one thing Jada Black doesn't know is that a lot of people who are fans of the Bond series are of Caribbean descent. And there's a lot, a lot of them are not a Caribbean women. Like my mom, who is a Jamaican woman, loves Bond. That's all she talks about, James Bond. How every time James Bond always dusts himself off. So this is a good addition. So very likely, I'm almost willing to bet Lashana Lynch is of either Jamaican descent or some type of Caribbean descent. Maybe she could be West African, but usually West African names don't have English names or names like hers. Lashana Lynch is most likely Jamaican descent. Or she could be um Guyanese, but... This usually Jamaican. Jamaican used. Jamaican had like a, a big flood coming into the United Kingdom. Me being one of them. A lot of us are born in the UK and we're able to go into many countries in Europe and we speak with a European accent. I just want to tell you a little bit of that and give you in depth how I feel about it. Now here's my opinion on it and my views about it. And I wanted to go ahead and give you the final views before the video ends here. What I'm trying to say is this: It's good to see that there's a black woman that's making history in a, in a white-dominated film industry. But like I said before, just like the, what I said about the Black Little Mermaid, the African-American actress that is playing on, on The Little Mermaid, who's from Atlanta, Georgia, I just, I, I just, it's like we're taking roles that were, already, that were already dominated by white male or white females. We're not creating things for ourselves. 
We need to start building our own movies, our own ideas, and come up with them. Come together, come up with some solutions so the money can continue to grow in the community. Because see all the money she's going to make? It's going to mostly go into the white community that created the James Bond film. you got to remember the James Bond film is owned by a white white franchise, a white movie franchise. I have no disrespect towards the franchise or anything like that, nor the actress. I'm proud of her work in Captain Marvel. I'm going to go ahead and probably watch it again today. And um, I'm proud of a lot of the actresses, the black actresses and black actors that are crossing over, that are of both Jamaican descent, of Caribbean descent, African American, and or even even if they're born in Europe directly or West African or whatever, as long as they're black people that are making history, and I'm proud, and I salute you all. But here's what I'm saying. It is time for us to make our own moves for ourselves, create our own movies, write our own scripts, and, and have that way we can keep the money back in our community and keep giving back. That is the only way we're going to make things happen. Just for example, we don't own YouTube, but, you know, we do what we can. We make our own videos. Keep doing it. Just try to be very respectful of the fact that of people who created Facebook, YouTube, and all of the forums that are not made by us, but they're made by people that are of European descent. Respect them, and, and, but at the same time, build for yourself, do for yourself, and give to each other, and keep us going. So this is another True Drew video, information and video. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. Click on the notification below if you want to keep more, more of my videos coming and get my information. And I'll be back to you in the next video. People of Caribbean descent, both male and female, that are very, very strong fans of the Bond franchise. So Caribbean people that are from Jamaica, that's why if you look at a lot of the movies that are filmed in Jamaica, pay attention to the history of the Bond films. A lot of them are filmed in Jamaica because Jamaica plays a very, very strong, deep root in the strength of the Bond franchise. So a lot of its money is being